Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm showing you around this absolutely awesome Ducati Diavel. Um, this is a bike that I've owned personally myself. It's an absolute beast. Um, it's difficult to say what category the Diavel falls into really because um, it, it kind of looks long and low like a cruiser but it's got the um, Panigale engine in it and it actually makes 160 odd horsepower so it's an absolute beast. I'd say it's kind of a, a city cruiser, sports cruiser, something like that. Um, made famous by its kind of styling, it was a real sort of jump into the cruiser market for Ducati when it first came out. This is a Gen 1 bike, a 2012, uh, not the carbon edition, just the totally standard bike. Um, very clean and tidy, pretty much been unmolested as well, which is quite rare to see, um, and in really nice condition. So uh, let's have a look. It's covered 14,000 miles. Um, which is quite low for, for the age of the bike. Um, it's in really, really nice condition. If we start at the front, you've got these really cool 17 inch, um, they look like forged wheels uh, on the front with the, um, the stainless accents on the inside there. Massive um, 320 millimeter discs. This has actually been replaced and has got EBC aftermarket ones. They look pretty much brand new. Um, it's quite common because the bike is so big and heavy and the brakes are so monstrously powerful. Um, it isn't uncommon to see the disc warp uh, on older bikes so this has been done quite recently the calipers as you can see they're radially mounted brembos four pots really really powerful um have got loads and loads of stopping power fitted to a lot of sports bikes and you have got upside down adjustable suspension on the bike as well as standard and it's fitted with uh pirelli rosso twos or sorry beg your pardon rosso threes uh, which are in really really good condition as well which is important on these bikes because the rear tire is huge and very very expensive LED indicators that are inset into the bodywork. Um, it's got lots of different finishes on the bike. Uh, so you've got gloss red tank, which is traditional Ducati color, red frame, um, some black plastic, some gray plastics, uh, all a standard, of course. Uh, same with the uh, the oil core that's down in the belly pan there. It's also got some, uh, some gloss black shrouds around it. All looks very, very cool. I've got a feeling that the front mudguard is aftermarket. I don't believe it had the, uh, the black fade on it as standard. I think this might be an aftermarket jobby, but it looks very good nonetheless. Cosmetically, it's really clean and tidy. Of course, it is an older bike now, you know, getting on for 10 years old. So you're going to find some wear and tear, but um, this bike does seem to have been well loved and looked after. It's got the original exhaust system and everything like that still on it, which is again, quite rare. Um, it is quite nice to see some of these bikes that haven't been messed around with too much. Riding position wise, um, it's a really comfy bike to ride, I have to say. The, the bike, this particular one, is fitted with the lower seat, I believe. It's got quite a low seat height anyway, and the bars are actually quite high. So if you look at that riding position, you end up with quite a straight back. Um, and I found with mine that you could ride it over quite long distances. The foot pegs are not as far forward as you would think for a cruiser. They're actually kind of just underneath you. So your legs are at almost 90 degrees to the ground. So again, it all helps to add to rider comfort. And I think that's what Ducati really were aiming this at. Somebody wanted something with loads of power, but you know that they could do over longer distances. The standard cans um, still sound quite nice. They're not the nicest looking things, but um, it's quite rare to see these bikes with the standard cans. There's lots of aftermarket options available. And if you're interested, let us know, because we can quote you. And we do offer free fitting on any accessories that are purchased with the bike as well. Bike comes with the uh, Ducati seat cover. So this is actually bolted to the underside of the seat. So you can take that off. Um, and then obviously the pillion seat is underneath and you've got the grab rail at the back there um, and your pillion pegs just pop out the side there. It's actually not too bad for a pillion, believe it or not. Um, there is a backrest option that can be fitted on here, um, similar to the Benelli's that we sell. Um, and that does offer a little bit more reassurance for a pillion because you are sat right over that huge rear wheel. As customary with the Catties, it's got a single sided swing arm. Looks really, really cool. It's got a really wide rear wheel, as you can see. Um, I think these are a 240 on the back. Camera probably doesn't do it justice, but this is a huge rear tire. Um, and uh, there aren't too many options available for this. It's really, really cool. It sort of gives the, uh, the, the Avalos stance that it has. Looks really, really cool. Around the front, there's a couple of aftermarket bits, as you can see. So there's some adjustable shorter levers here. Um, I don't know whether they're genuine Ducati or not. I suspect probably not. And a screen as well. Um, the bike wouldn't have come with a screen as standard, but a lot of people did fit them if they wanted to do any kind of mileage. 
um, and given the uh, the seat height that would just help kick the air up over the top of you but it is obviously removable if you don't like the look <clears throat> around this side is all very much the same it's obviously a twin disc model as you would expect no quick shifter with these are standard um, there is a remote adjuster for the rear suspension that's just um, just around about here so if you're taking luggage and pillion you can adjust it quite easily and being a single-sided swing arm it's got a ratchet uh, style adjuster for the rear um, rear chain so if you were doing this at home uh, you would need a single-sided paddock stand and obviously the uh, the ratchet tool to be able to do that obviously things like chain tires brakes sprockets all that stuff they all get checked during our pre-delivery inspection if we find that they're at the end of their life they tend to get replaced anyway and or adjusted so not too much to worry about there the bike has uh, a keyless ignition um, but it does have a key as well so the key obviously operates uh, the fuel um, but for the most part you can keep that tucked away in your pocket and not have to worry too much the dash layout it's a bit of an unusual one it's got two digital dashes if you like there's one down here and one up here the one down here tends to tell you about your rider modes fuel consumption and the mileage which you can see there 14,222 gear position so obviously you can switch through your rider modes which also changes the engine response and traction control that sort of thing and up here is all your normal riding information so your rev counter is here speed you've got a clock there and then obviously you've got your temperature let's give it a start up so you can have a listen Sounds absolutely mega, um, as you'd expect for a big capacity V-twin. Like I said, really, really powerful motor, um, but being a V-twin, you can be quite lazy with it. You don't really need to ride it hard, but uh, having that sort of Panigale heritage uh, in the bike is really, really nice. And you can certainly feel it. It's got a really good chassis as well. Um, if you've not ridden me one of these before, it's an absolutely epic bike. So the bike's gonna come with a three month warranty. It's gonna come with free delivery within England and Wales. We do offer delivery to Scotland for a small charge. And of course we offer all the normal dealer trimmings such as finance and part exchange. If that's something that you're interested in or if you've got any general questions, please feel free to reach out. We've got WhatsApp, live chat, all the social medias. Pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you got or feel free to drop in and try to buy a for size. That's it for me, thanks for watching. And I look forward to speaking to you soon, take care.